Sean Sewell with ingimmert.com in the beautiful mountains of Colorado. And we are testing out the Houdini orange jacket. This guy right here. There's a lot of really cool features in this jacket that I'm gonna cover in this video review. Uh, one, this is not called the orange jacket because the color is orange. I wonder why. I'll tell you the story in a little bit. This is a packable emergency jacket that's actually more breathable than Gore-Tex. What? Yeah, there's a lot to cover. A lot to cover. So. Let's get into it. First and foremost, we'll start with sizing as we always do on this channel. It gives you a frame of reference of what we're working with here. I am six foot one, 210 pounds, 45 inch chest, 33 inch waist, 36, 37 on the arms. It says a men's extra large, and I have it layered over a down jacket. In this case, it is the Outdoor Research Helium jacket. Um, so it is a good piece for layering. It's good by itself as well. Um, let's start on the outside. The jacket itself is called the orange jacket, not because of the color. It's because it, when packed up, it's about the size of an orange. And there's a little fun story about it right there if you care to read about it. It is a minimalist jacket, very lightweight, uh, just a few ounces for this thing. It's meant to go with you everywhere, in your backpack, for hiking, for city use, uh, for split boarding, for backcountry touring, on skis, snowshoes, hike, hiking, biking, running, whatever. It's easy to pack this away with you. Despite it being a very lightweight jacket, it is actually a fully functional three-layer waterproof breathable material, as you can see there. It is, uh, it's blown me away. I have a lot of wind jackets we test, and a lot of them are very lightweight and they're great at blocking the wind, but not very many of them are a three layer waterproof breathable jacket. This is, this one is. Got tiny zippers, you know. I'm not the biggest fan of tiny zippers, but that is what happens when you are working with a minimalist jacket. They're gonna be tiny. And it being a European company, the zipper is on the other side, so keep that in mind. There's nothing wrong with a zipper, it's just European. If you're in America, you will learn to adjust. Being a minimalist jacket, there are no hand pockets. That's the only thing I could find that I wish had, that had was just two hand pockets would be great. I would wear this jacket all the time as an outer layer. But how I've used it and how you may be using it, not only as an emergency shell to keep in your kit and then bust out when you need windproof, waterproof protection, um, as well as a fully featured hood. It's really good. Uh, well, I shouldn't say fully features and adjustable, but it's a really full coverage hood. And I'll show you that here in a second. Uh, the, and the layout is fantastic. This is a men's extra large and it works great on my person, uh, just over a t-shirt or over a long sleeve shirt. And in my case right now, because it is, we were split boarding a couple hours ago and I was winter camping the night before and it actually snowed so much that the people couldn't even get to the trailhead where I was camping. So I had the whole place to myself. Uh, it snowed about a foot and I wore this jacket the whole time. Waterproof, great and breathable. Okay, this is where it's gonna start blowing your mind. Uh, first, I'm gonna do a little comparison. There is a company called Patagonia. They have a jacket called the Houdini as well. And uh, Houdini has been a part of my kit, probably a part of your kit for a long time. I probably had mine for 10 years. It's a nice stuffable little wind shell and I, I use it all the time or I used to use it all the time. And uh, durable for being so lightweight. It has no hand pockets either. It has a little chest pocket that you can stuff it into. Uh, climbers love it. I have a couple of friends who took it to Denali. They use it on there as part of their layering system. Uh, it's just a, a, a little jacket that always goes with me. This is meant to be like that, but instead of just being a wind shell, it is a fully functional three layer waterproof breathable membrane. And the waterproof rating, if you just had to guess on this little jacket, what do you think it would be? I would have guessed maybe 10K, 15K, with some kind of PU coating that wouldn't be very breathable. I was wrong. It is 20K waterproof. That is really outstanding. That's up there with anything else waterproof. But there's gotta be a catch. The breathability has gotta be clammy as hell, right? It's probably 10K breathability if that. It's gotta be just a wind blocking, lightweight shell. They didn't think about the breathability. Well, they not only thought about it, they flip and nailed it. If you had to guess, what did the breathability be on this jacket? 10k 15k nope 46k what 20k waterproof 46k breathable why don't you just live in this jacket why does this just become everybody's new waterproof shell breathable shell for touring for rain for hiking for biking what it, that's just bonkers like i'm still scratching my head on that so i tried it i tried it for touring i tried it for, i slept in it i hiked in it i lived in it for quite a while I, I don't know how to measure 46K breathability, but it is more breathable than most other wind shells I've tested. 
Uh, so that's saying quite a bit. So you get the waterproof. You get your breathable. Then there's gotta be catch. The material's gotta be crinkly or something. No, actually it has mechanical stretch. It is a little bit, I wanna say shiny, but it's not matte either. It's just a, a nice color. But there's no hand pockets. Still, that's the one thing I find wrong with this. The hood, I, I teased you with the hood a couple minutes ago. The hood is fully, like, full height hood. And keep in mind, I have this over a down hoodie, so it will look pretty tight, but it actually works. And I'm wearing this hoodie, the down hoodie, on purpose to show you how you can use this jacket as part of your layering system and or as emergency shell, or just for sizing purposes, right? Again, this is a men's extra large. You know my specs. I'm wearing a men's extra large down jacket, and I'll put the hood on now. So as you can see there, it'll go over a hoodie. By itself, it'll play even nicer. It'll go easily over a hat, beanie, what have you. And that coverage was amazing, covering up to here. So this is truly gonna keep you protected in all the elements. Something to keep in winter, spring, fall, and summer as well. So that was awesome right there. Uh, it's just a few ounces, packs up to the size of an orange, three layer waterproof breathable material, very breathable at that, stretch, nice little elastic on the cuffs and you can kind of see the material is almost translucent the sun went behind the clouds and the rest of the storm's coming in but if you can see there it's kind of translucent looking through it and it has that mechanical stretch so it plays very nicely with your activities like i said i was using it for split boarding which you know that's a fairly dynamic motion you're touring and range of motion and you're going uphill and it's been good okay the price all those things in consideration. Ultralight, this has got to be like some kind of super specced out, super expensive jacket. I don't know what price you're guessing, but I'll tell you the price is $300 US, which for what it is, is awesome. If they offered one for $400 with hand pockets, I would buy that in a heartbeat. Um, I just like hand pockets and my hands are cold because it is all of, huh, well, it says 21 degrees now, but it was about six this morning when I woke up and the clouds are coming over and it's making it way colder and you can probably see my hand. It is time to put on some gloves and time to wrap this review up. Okay, uh, one last feature to talk about. If you don't wanna have the hood deployed, you can roll the hood up and there's a little snap behind um, the sizing logo and you can snap it so it becomes a jacket. So then now you have a jacket and the hood's not all flapping around the wind kind of thing. So it's a very useful, versatile jacket, not just for recreational use, outdoors, but also urban use for protection. Um, it's good stuff, 300 bucks, waterproof, breathable, packable, stuffable, stretchable, legit. It's good stuff. Houdini really nailed it. So uh, if you have any questions on this product, please put those in the comments below. If you've used this or other Houdini products and you want to share your experience with the audience, you're welcome to do so. Put that in the comments below as well. If you found this helpful, thumbs up is always appreciated. If you want to see more content, more reviews from Houdini, uh, they're a great company making good stuff over in Europe. Uh, we'll have a lot more to cover. If you want to see that, consider subscribing to the channel. We'll put links to do so below. I'm Sean Sewell, owner and director of Stoke for Ingimit. And until next time, take care.